So we don't have to actually do an intro. They already know who we are by now, right? <laughs> That's true. That's true. But I like doing the intro. Yeah. I like doing the intro so much. That you should hey, just record everybody. one. Now. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody welcome to the next episode of bpm beers per minute i'm your host mick pettit with me as always we have mr calvin mile and with us now continuing again mr devin lopez hello we're just three dads kicking it sexual style here on all the platforms <laughs> Wow, that's a, that's a real aggressive, <laughs> aggressive start. Yeah. Now I'm now I'm wondering which cold open he's going to use for this. Is it going to use us talking about beat the biscuit, or is it going to use oh, uh, you? God, is it going to use? Why would you um, bring that up? Because this was the that was the intro to the show. <laughs> that was the only time I did the intro to the show. Yeah, I know. Oh, Jesus, uh, how you guys doing? Uh, I'm fine. I was up in up in Crystal Mountain today. Did you guys Ooh. see the pictures I posted? I had not. I have not Where'd been you on post them? in the selfies channel in my in my Discord. No, um, I didn't. I'm sorry. I, I posted a whole bunch. Um, yeah, yeah. So my only job today was a, a fire alarm inspection up at the Crystal Mountain Ski Lodge. Um, so I left at like six forty. Got there by nine. It was like a half an hour inspection. Um, but then I got to hang out on the mountain for like three hours and we got, I got a free ride up the gondola and like had lunch up at the summit. It was amazing. So yeah, those, Very those cool. pictures are pretty cool. If you guys check them out. Yeah. I'll have to do that. That sounds really good. Yeah. It was a good day. Good, I good did. way to end the week. I did not have anywhere near that sort of experience. I cleaned carpets and. Lifted a van. <laughs> Do you ever get to clean carpets anywhere cool, or is it just kind of the same places? Anywhere cool? I mean, uh, I mean, depends. Uh, I've done tons of like million dollar homes. Yeah, and those some of them, some of those are cool. Oh Usually yeah, the ones that are cool are the ones that you wouldn't think would be like tear the trailer down. Mm-hmm. One of the best jobs we ever did, and it was a um, water damage job. This people worked in Seattle back when Picasso was still alive at like a big gallery. So this guy was able to get tons of Picassos for like cost. And they had all these different China sets and different things like that. like. Real, real expensive things. But it was a double wide trailer that was disgusting. Like, you'd think it was hillbillies that lived there, but they were real rich people. The best thing they ever had was in a pern. Do you know what that is? Mm -mm. So it, it looks like kind of like a round base, and it looks like orchids like coming out of it, and it's usually made of glass. Okay. So she had like seven or eight of these up on this one shelf. And she said, okay, these ones are really cool, but this one is my favorite one because there's only two known to be in the world. The other one is in England, and theirs is broken. <laughs> and it's in a castle in a museum broken. Yeah. And hers yeah. is sitting up on the shelf with cats going in and out of it and this much dust. That's like worth millions of dollars, wow. probably. She had and this she's... one set of china. When we went to clean, because we had to like take pictures of everything and then clean it and then put it back exactly how it was. When we went to take this china out of the cabinet, it still had food all over it. I'm like, ooh, this is gross. Why is there food all over this? It's like, oh, well, I have to take it out and clean it when I have to have people over anyways, so why clean it twice? So she just put the stuff away dirty. Milk, wine, meat, things on gross. the plates. Yeah, because you had to scrub it anyways. That's stupid. Right? That's, that's the dumb Crazy. reason to, really to let food rot in your china cabinet. I, I, I don't I don't feel that. like that's good for the china to well, let mold grow on it. The one, well, it's glass. So, 
it, it's just like blown glass stuff. Like the, the stuff sure. that she had was crazy. Like she had one called June mm-hmm. that was made out of jade, and it was only made in June of that year, and that was it. Mm-hmm. And she has mm-hmm. this whole set. That is crazy. Just gross, still. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. So she has like millions of dollars worth of like vases and pottery and plates and stuff, probably and artwork like, and. Well, it's yeah. that's like that's like like artwork. I get because it's like, it's a it's a piece of art. But just like to have random plates and vases that are worth millions of dollars just sitting in your home, that's like insane. That's like boggles my mind. Like it's not like oh yeah, look, I got this art piece at an auction and it's worth this much money. It's like, oh, yeah, that vase uh, in my back closet, yeah, it's worth $2 million. <laughs> like, yep. Yep. like, it's not I even don't... displayed like it's worth anything. I do not understand that at all. Not very much. Uh, all right. So are you all over COVID, Devin, or, or are you still feeling oh, yeah. bad? Coven uh, had uh, – Coven. <laughs> Co- Coven <laughs> had Devin. Coven had Devin. They had me. Coven had Devin. Um – yeah, I'm like better. I'm really like, I'm really tired. Like I'm so freaking tired right now. Yeah. Um, like I I don't have a fever anymore, and like it's been ten days since I got it, and so like my fever and like I literally couldn't swallow a freaking thing at all. Like my Ooh. throat felt like I had glass, like dang crushed glass going down it, so I couldn't even swallow water. There was three days that I didn't like drink or eat anything because it hurt. Um. Fox. But now I'm just tired. I'm so tired. Like, my mm-hmm. body is just sore, and I'm exhausted. And I just lay in bed and try to not fall asleep more. So, yeah. Yeah. That was but like I'm better now. Mono. That's what mono was like. I had it for a month. It sucked. That kissing disease? Yeah. The good thing is making out so much. With. Yeah, who no. are you sucking face with? The good thing, mono. I have no idea. Which oh, horror were you sucking face with? But <laughs> oh, I was married. So oh. I, was, I was, it was when I was living. Well, I got to cut that sentence I just said then. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> it, was, it was when I was living at my grandparents' house. So it had to have been in the first few years of our marriage. Um, we think that I somehow got it from Jennifer because she's the only person that I would have got it from, but she doesn't ever remember having it. So it's kind of a, I don't know, type of thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was, I was down for the count for like a month straight. I slept, I slept probably two weeks out of the, like the home, like I was just gone. (laughs) Jeez. Um, Couldn't swallow, couldn't eat. Yeah. I lost like 40 pounds (laughs) over the course of the month. Man. Yeah. It was crazy. But thankfully you only get mono once. I'm like, oh, really? Yeah. So you'll never get it again. That's nice. Yeah. Cause you get it. it, Yes. It's in your system like chicken pox. Oh. Oh. So, um, so you so, and I are never going to kiss then. Well, uh, <laughs> I refuse to get that from you. It's honestly, it's weird because it's rare to to transfer it even. Like you could have it in your system and never give it to anybody. And then one day you do. It's like, it's not as um, prolific as like other diseases that you might have and then get transmit. It's kind of weird. Because um, gotcha. like, yeah, like I, you know, been married to Jennifer for two or three years beforehand and then all of a sudden i got it so it's not like oh you kissed someone with a had it when they were 10 now you have mono it's like it's subtle i don't know weird um i was wondering if i could have your help calvin with something what's up um it's been a while since i've like done any drinking okay and i don't really have a lot of options here so i'm i'm kind of scrounging today (laughs) um so i have i know this isn't how you would do it, but I have a glass with ice. Okay, sure. And I have this. I don't know if this is any good or if this is. That's a good one. I, okay, I just you're the expert. I don't know what I'm doing here at all with this. So yeah, pink freeze is good. So I, I don't even have a lot of stuff to mix it with because I don't really drink hard alcohol that often unless it's whiskey. But that sounds gross. Would you mix whiskey with it? Yeah, mm. no. Okay, you're thinking about well, it too no, much. No, no. I feel like if the answer is no. If it was like a cheap whiskey, I would. You would mix a cheap whiskey with it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what would you rather mix, vodka or a cheap whiskey with it? Probably vodka. Okay. So, like, what's what's the ratio that I'm looking for here if I'm going to mix vodka with this? What am I, what am I going for? 
Um, I usually, so I don't use ice. So I, and I usually do about, right, I know I usually do about two or three or four shots. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna it, just eye de- it. it depends on how big the glass is. Yeah. Right. I don't, no, I don't, sure. I don't measure the shots at all. No, for um, sure. I'm just kind of eyeing it. And then you just fill up the rest of it with the, the frost. Is that what you're yeah. saying? Yep, okay. Yep, yep. The and way that is- I, the way that I do it, the glasses that I use, I always use these glasses. And so let me, I can just stem it. I can show you. I probably put in okay. about that much vodka. Yeah, no, for and sure. Then, and then when I put in the mics, I, I use the entire can. It fills it all the way up to oh, right here. Okay. So I do like a perfect pour. Right. So I won't mic. be able to do that. But that's yeah, okay. Yeah, the ice. But that's the ratio that I use. Well, is that a, is that a uh, 12 or 16 ounce I think this glass? is a 16 that I have, yeah. Yeah, you, you have that. What Do you have a 16 ounce glass? Mine isn't a 16. I didn't grab a oh. 16. He's probably got a twelve. It's like a no looks for you. I just I wanted to just try this, and I, I figured if I if I needed help, I would come to the expert. You know, I'm not <laughs> yeah, gonna try course. to do this myself by any means. It's tasty. Do you mix it, or do you just let the when you, um, you pour it, do you let that mix it? I let the pouring mix it, but I also okay. use ice. So if you when you use ice, you might have to mix it. It depends. Okay. So I think we need to mm-hmm. get like. Your favorite flavor of mics, like what your ideal flavor? Me? Yes. What was, were, were you what texting now, me about that, or was I Devin did, texting I, me about I that? did text. I text I saw you the other day about okay. it too. Of just like what your best, like what you think would be the most best flavor, not something they've come out with. Like even if it is something they come out, with, but like a mixture of that or something that you know, like what is your ideal mm. flavor of mics? Like you want me to come up with an imaginary flavor that I think would be better than any flavors I currently have? Yeah, but like it could be like a mixture of what they have or something, sure. some, something you know that you could make if you wanted to. I really love guava. Guava is one of my favorite fruit juices. So guava. if I could get a guava Mike's lemonade, that would be probably really good. Have they never done a guava? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. So guava. Hmm. Guava yeah. would be pretty good. I like guava. I, I, have, like I actually have guava juice in my fridge right now. Hmm. Well, you shouldn't have mixed that with the uh, orange juice. You should have mixed that with guava. The the thing is, is that because it's like natural guava juice, it's got chunks in it. Oh. And I don't like having you, chunks at the bottom of my glass. You don't like chunky guava. Well, just drinking it as a juice is fine, but like when you're when you sip on it, it's mm-hmm. the chunks all get stuck to the side of the glass, and then the bottom oh. has like mm-hmm. um, sediment in it. So I then, it, then, it, then it gets it. weird. Yeah, but I don't swish it. By the time I start swishing it, I'm already down to here, and then it doesn't matter anymore because <laughs> it's right. saturated. It. If you're just drinking the guava juice by itself, it doesn't matter because you're drinking it within five minutes. But when you're sipping on a drink for an hour, it separates. Mm. Well, then don't take an hour to drink it. But this is all the alcohol I have. I have to savor it. <laughs> well, this one, yes, but I mean, normally no. in the future. So the future. I have. I I bought a couple things. Um, there's nothing like extreme like the other ones I've got before of like key lime or you know like that. Uh, this is by uh, Goose Island mm-hmm. Brewing. You you guys are familiar with them? Yes. No. I'm familiar, I'm familiar no. with geese. It's got Never goose on it. Really? Oh, okay. Um, this is a beach vacation for your taste buds. It's the tropical bear hug. Mm. It is a um, imperial IPA, Ooh. and it is nine point nine percent. Goose Island. Like see, see, they got the goose on it. You haven't seen that one? Never seen it. I don't think so. I'm looking it up right now just to make sure that. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen them. They do some cool stuff. So, uh, while I'm gonna do this, I also want to to show off because I'm you know really pushing that PN Dubs thing here. Mm-hmm. I got these sweet glasses uh, gifted to me the other day, and I have four of them. Ooh. They Olympia Washington. Ooh. Olympia Washington. But hold on. Bam. Home of the Olympia Brewing Company. Oh, man. I missed the Olympia hey. Brewing Company. 19 or 1896. I guess technically they still make tequila, don't they? Or something? Oh. Um. They could they no. the beer, they 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 discontinued the beer. It makes vodka, make a, but it's not it actually them. You know, it's oh, Olympia the Olympia Brewing Company doesn't exist anymore as it is. They were bought out by a, one of the larger companies. I don't okay. know if it's like Bush Anheuser or more likely, I don't remember. Okay, so they make vodka, but it's not really their vodka. It's not really their vodka. It's not nothing is Pacific like. Okay. 
Northwest done. Because I, I have think. seen I have seen Olympia vodka at Fred Meyer. There's a bottle of that. I that think. stuff's good. The Olympia vodka is good. Yeah. It is a good vodka. Um, I missed the Olympia beer though. That beer was really good. I had that it every was. time I went out to bars. I have two more left. I bought Ooh. when they first started going out. I bought like two six packs of, or like because one of the local breweries like bought an entire case of uh like pallet of it. Yeah. Um, from somewhere, and they were giving them away for two bucks, and so I ended up picking up two six packs. And yeah. I've slowly been giving them to special people. I, I love how how cheap they were at the at one of the bars I like to go to called Well Eighty. Every Thursday they did a throw. It was like Throwback Thursdays. They played only '80s music, and you could get Olympia Tall Boys for a buck seventy-five. Oh, yeah. nice! That was where yeah. I actually got them when they. Is it Well Eighty? Well, yeah, it was Well Eighty. Oh man! I went by Well Eighty the other day. Nice place. Yeah. So this is probably one of the best glasses I've gotten in quite a while. Mm-hmm. Again, sticking with the PM Dubs. This is a uh, Miller Genuine Draft glass. Nice, but it's freaking Seattle Sonics. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, that's uh, great. And it's 1996 Western Conference champions. Bam! Awesome, very cool. That is a collector's item. Yeah, definitely. That 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 really uh throws on there. So I got my Olympia Brewing. I got my Sonics. I got my 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 cool old Seahawks glass as well. Even though Seahawks aren't uh, as great as they used to be, it's all right. It's all right. They're they're they're. They're coming back. They 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 got this. Do they? I think so. I mean, Wilson's been out of the game before he left, anyways, for a few years. So, like mm-hmm. in his head, he's. Yeah, you could tell. You could you could tell. He the made it, he made there. his money and he was done. I don't think it was that. I don't think it was the money thing. I, I think it was managerial and things like that. I think him and yeah. Carol had a few disagreements. That's not only why most employees quit their jobs is because of bad managers. Usually. We're going to use the uh, the Seattle uh, Sonics. Okay, sorry, right. Sonics. Woo! Ah! That, crap. He spilled, he spilled in a microphone. Yep. I caught myself, too. I uh, I didn't swear there. I almost did. <laughs> I've, yeah. I've, I, I was close. If you go back and look at the tapes, you will see my lips pursing. Oh, yeah. Someone in our server posted an Indian pale lager recently. Yeah. And that really piqued my interest because I don't like IPAs very much, but I love lagers. So I really want to try to find one now, an, IP, an IPL. I don't think I've like. ever had one of those either. Never. Wouldn't it? What would an would Indian be, pale lager be like? Would it be a... Be very light. It would be like a, a hoppy, but very light still. Like why would it? Why would it be hoppy? Because that's the Indian part. Isn't that the India? Is is it because it's all, are all Indian beers hoppy? Is that what that? I means? think it's the the style of hops that they use. Hmm. I believe a hoppy lager. I mean, I don't mind the flavor of hops. I need to turn that off. It was the. I'm, I'm a professional. The um, bitterness of IPAs I don't like. Uh, there's mm. a number. There's a no, there's a number for that too. It's like um, IBU. I, IBUs. Yeah. yeah, I don't like high IBU beers. See, IBUs is a lie though. Sometimes because no. I've had a beer that was, I've had a beer that was twenty some IBUs and it was bitter as hell. Then I've had one that was like, oh, this is eighty seven and there was no bitterness at all. It's it's a very. I don't feel like IBU, it's actually a maybe scientific it, maybe number. It's, it's a very subjective number. IBU scale is. Ridiculous. Maybe it there is no. More than can. I don't understand I don't the know. IBU scale at all. It's it's so dumb. Basically, if I see IPA, and I don't think you're going to like an IPL. Irish? No. No. It is sounds it? like they're very very hoppy still. I, I don't think. mind the hoppy flavors. That's not the reason why I don't like IPAs. That's what I'm saying. It's the bitterness. Well, that's uh, what the. That's where hoppy. it gets the bitterness from. Ho- no, from just that. hoppy isn't bitter. Like there's um, there's hoppy apple ciders that I've had that taste delicious. It depends on the hops. That's the thing. It's, it it depends yeah. on the types of hops you use. That's where your bitterness comes from. Yeah. The types of hops you have, the more bitter it is, depending on like if it's a really strong hop. Hmm. That's why they I feel like most... the only difference between the two are just going to be the types of like malts and stuff that is used inside of it. 
It still may be fun to try. Yeah, I would yeah. try it. Taste it at least. 100%. Let's see. Let's look up some IPLs. IPL. Okay. <coughs> also, I have a cough. <laughs> You're still coughing? Yeah. Really? Guys, it really sucks. Um, <laughs> yeah. I had the best time at the concert, and then I got COVID. It was really the worst. Do you know where you got it from? Um, I mean, I assume I know. Like, there's only one other girl there that got COVID, like, in the group that we were with. Mm. And I don't even remember being around her that much. Um, but she was the only one that also got it. So, got it. I think it's just karma for not inviting your cool friends to your shows. I mean, shows. if they and all got, if they got COVID at the show, I'm glad we didn't go. <laughs> Dude, but I honestly I don't think... remember what shows I'm going to anymore. They just start happening. Okay, apparently I'm going to some 41 next weekend. I've forgotten about it. Oh, it's just are happening. you? Yeah, are you guys want to come? COVID? It's are an invite right now. Oh, yeah. Is there tickets? Where's it at? What's going on? Seattle. Devin's going to sneak us in. That's what he's going to okay. do. No, I'm not sneaking you in. So, so he's gonna he's gonna go ahead and open the back door for us. No, we're we're gonna go ahead and do that. The you know the the stub, stub trick. You know, two people go in and then one person comes out with both stubs and then brings somebody else in. I don't think that they let you do that anymore. I mean, that doesn't mean they they don't let you do that anyways. It's just you find the right old person that's Holy watching. Crap! The- tickets are two hundred dollars. Oh yeah, yeah. Screw that. No, we ain't going to see somebody. You bought these yeah. tickets and you don't no, even remember buying you. them. Well, they're not. They weren't like two hundred dollars when I bought them. They were thirty five dollars. But oh, damn. I mean, some's gonna be fun though. I'm sure some yeah. will be awesome. Some forty one simple plan, Magnolia. Park. Ew. Okay. Mm, 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 Dude, mm. simple plan is the best show. I like simple plan. Ever. I like. Well, I like some simple plan songs. I. They are just fun, man. See, I've heard but people say they're, they're too whiny. I do anything. When when did you get into Simple Plan from the very beginning? Me, me, either of you guys? Yeah, when I was, when I was a teenager. I heard, so I heard some of they came songs. out. Okay, yeah. I don't know. Okay, I think that's probably. Why, I don't. I don't know when I'm they just came out. A little out. bit older, so <laughs> I just do not. Mm-mm. I know lots of people think that they're too whiny. Like that's, it's like that's it's what, you, what does that have to do with you being older necessarily? I mean, it's like because the older he gets, the crankier he gets. No, because I have a different music taste than you. I he's, grew up with other things. He's than you. But did you so, not enjoy like any of the like pop punk stuff I don't like at so, all? No, I do like I do like pop punk stuff. No, I have a, I know somebody but, else who's like maybe four years older than me, and they love pop punk but hate Simple Plan. Like Simple Plan, Simple Plan does have a specific sound. That's I think different from other pop punk stuff. They <laughs> when they came out with the explicit album, I think that's when I started liking them actually, because they changed the style of their music. When hmm. they, what album? It, it, it was, it was, I forget which one it was. It was an explicit title that they had on it too. It had a couple of F words in it, but they changed their style of music and it was just enough leaning to the, the harder, style that i liked it like i couldn't stand it from the very beginning just because it was like i don't know again like too whiny and just kind of mm-hmm. yeah, right. eh, 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 eh. do you like <laughs> newfound glory that's a uh, that's a stretch that no Mm-mm. no you new, don't like newfound new, glory either new, newfound glory good charlotte no Mm-mm. i like uh, there was a what's the good charlotte song i like um it's called like how long can i dream without you or something good Is charlotte that, like, i don't like now at this point in my I don't, life, the, I don't the, mind good. There Charlotte, are other though, stuff like, that I've heard I wasn't a fan of, but that one lifestyles of the rich and the famous. Yeah, it's literally called "How Long Can I Dream Without You." That's the only one that I like. <laughs> I don't know, like that whole era of what do they call it, like the drive-through records era. Like I like that type of era of pop punk when Newfound Glory was real, real big. And you have starting line, um, early November, all those type of bands. That's my jam. It's pretty good. I, I like some of those guys. Uh, oh, I'm agreeing mean, to you, but this, yes, this. Good. Um, this is a dangerous nine point nine. 
This does not taste like it is 9.9% alcohol. Holy moly. This may be an IPA that you could drink, Calvin. Yeah. Oh, boy. It is not bitter, like, at all. It's nice and fruity. It is. I like fruities. Fruity beers, anyways. This um, is this, this, this going to be good 45 minutes. So the, the I looked up the difference between Indian Pale Lager and Indian Pale Ale. And it said that uh, IPL is a type of beer that is fermented with lager yeast instead of ale yeast. So it's a whole different yeast that gives a different flavor. It's moderately hoppy with a deep amber to dark brown color. In terms of flavor, it's clean with a crisp finish. It's derived from the type of hops rather than the yeast used. So I feel like I would like it because it's only only moderately hoppy and it's clean and crisp, which is... Those are things I enjoy in beer. So that sounds pretty good. I would try it. I haven't yet had a lager I didn't like. What was the what was the name of that one that he did too? I'm gonna look it up here. Um, it was something something. It was the Sands Craft Brewing Brewery in Dunav. Craft Brewery Dunov. Yeah, but it's, it's Sans uh Sans Changern C H A N G E A is that M? No. I don't know. Uh, yes. C H A N G E M E R T Changemert? 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 Sans Changemert? Does that sound right? I have no idea. Sans Chamberlain. Do you guys see that Alex Jones has to pay four point one million dollars to yeah to people because he said that that one shooting was all government staged and all that. <laughs> I haven't been nope. following it, but I just saw the, like that. I saw a clip or whatever where the other lawyer was like, he was talking about his text messages getting released to him, and he was like, it's "So good, you know that these text messages got released to me and." Your team, your uh, legal team did nothing, and now I can end up talking about it. And so I know for a fact you lied about everything or lied about this or whatever. (laughs) And it was just, it was such a crisp, crisp moment. His comeback to it was like, yeah, that's why I gave it to my my lawyers. (laughs) But Um, poor guy, poor guy. I don't know. uh, mm, mm. I wouldn't go poor guy. Well, I'm saying poor in the fact that like this guy has some severe mental issues. Like poor, okay. poor okay. guy, yeah. Yeah. Poor, poor guy, guy doesn't have more money to deal but, with these mental issues. Bless his heart. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. You don't know who Alex Jones is? Nope. How do you You've know? never seen anything with Alex Jones? I mean, I might have, like, but the, one of the I, don't, I don't know who he is. Theorists, guys around. I don't actively seek out conspiracy theorists. You don't I don't have either. to actively seek out Alex Jones. Alex Jones I've, just I've knows probably he seen finds him you. before. Yeah, Alex Jones finds before. you wherever I don't, you are. I don't, I don't connect the name with anybody. That's what gotcha. I'm saying. Sure, it's a typical white guy with bald with a beard and goatee. But like a... That's too vague. <laughs> so like Devin, but not Mexican. Okay. So I like, mean, so like, I don't really like, want to say that. So like, don't say that. <laughs> like Tom Segura, I mean, then. if you think Give about it. If you think about it. Think about like, it. So like, so look like into Tom the camera and, and think and, and really think Alex Jones just kind of like just, just <laughs> we, we can oh man I'm gonna like gonna like put his picture and yours together at this moment. Oh mm-hmm. god. Like, just put Please it over his that. face. We'll just fade it in. This is Alex just, Jones just, is here on the podcast. Deep, so that's all deep, time. Fake, deep fake Alex Jones on a Devin's face. <laughs> <laughs> this fun. beer is really good though. Uh, that's so good. It's, the Goose Island Tropical Bear Hug. 9.9. Does not taste like it's 9.9. Nice and fruity. Good IPA. That sounds Yay. good. I'll be honest. I am not enjoying this uh, Mike's Heart. You don't like boss. Mike's? I, it is a god-awful drink. <laughs> and I would not give it to my worst enemies. Do you not like Mike's already? No, I don't like anything sweet like that. Well, then like, why did you think you would like it? I don't know. I was trying to be nice. I 
Why did you? I was lie? trying to be a friend. <laughs> if you don't like Mike's already, why do you think it's disgusting? It's though it tastes like syrup going down my throat. I like sweet drinks. My dad felt the same as you. He tried. Jennifer brought over some Mike's to a family gathering, and my dad tried one with some vodka in it because that's what we like to drink. And he's like, "Too sweet. Don't like it." But he also likes to dilute his juice with water. Whenever he drinks juice, he fills up the cup with half water first. Yeah, I know I do that too, but that's just because I'm cheap. That's not the <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate it. It's disgusting. <laughs> I hate diluting my stuff. So maybe now I'm drinking a Georgetown Brewing. Did you just throw that away? Did you not even finish it? <laughs> I'm not going to drink it again. Check. 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 I'm sorry. I told my wife because she bought them. Um, and she doesn't love them. She doesn't love the mic yeah. hard frost things. Um, sorry, Calvin. I don't. I, don't I still have never seen the frost ones. I'm sorry. Oh, I've never. I have never seen the hard freeze. the mic freezes it's or freeze, whatever. Sorry. I've only seen standard mics. I've never yeah. seen any. Where do you look variety. in the beer section? You have to because, go to the store. Well, I go to, like Safeway and Walmart. Yeah. And stuff, so but I still... there's like the craft beer. And then, like, you find, like, the little section or, where it's, like, twisted tea it's right and, next like, to the yeah. regular mic. everything else is kind of gross, and it's, like, there next to it. I mean, it's, yeah, it's I, right I know where it's at. It's right next to regular mics. It's, it's where I usually get when I'm cheap and want to just, like, you know. How are you like going there when you're cheap? Because I've already had a few, and I'm like, well, this is high content, so sure, and sweet. <laughs> but I don't, I've never seen the freeze ones. Doesn't, doesn't Jasmine like sweeter drinks? Yeah, but she didn't like the freezes. Um, Which she, she doesn't like the freezes? Okay. No. They taste like slushies. It's very particular. She really only likes the seltzers now. Yeah, well that that um hard seltzer soda, but but hard soda seltzer. How are yeah. those? Crap those? Was, was way too sweet. Really? For me even. I can drink those easier, I feel That's like. That's weird. Cause that the the I think it was like a cherry one or something that I tried, and it was like sickeningly sweet. Hmm. Just by itself. I game. don't love those ones either. I'll tell you that much. But I can drink those. I feel like easier yeah. straight. Um, I honestly, the- I prefer just a basic crisp white claw. Um, anyways, I, like- I can drink those all day long. Those like- are just crisp. That's like my, you know what? That's my, my taste profile. I just like crisp tasting things. I think Truly's are better than white claws. R- I agree. I agree. I would agree with that. I- Truly's, mm-hmm. Truly's have, a, have a more authentic fruit fruit flavors i'll i'll have to get them again and try them both side by side because i feel like white claws better than truly just white claw surge though you got that eight percent you do but you have the malt liquor it's already malt liquor though isn't it but it's the malt li- malt liquor aftertaste. Oh, I see what you're with, saying. With the eight <laughs> percent, you get that flavor of. You're alcohol right. At that point, you might as well just you might as well uh, drink Steel Reserve. Like you might as well no, just no, go no, the rest no, of the no, way. No, and no, <laughs> you're already. But you're no. already. I get what you're saying. I for me, I agree. I guess I'm like if I'm if I'm getting that malt aftertaste that I can actually taste it. I'm like, I'd rather just go drink like a Mickey's or something like that. Like, but it's it's not so strong of a malt flavor that's what i'm saying it's gotcha it's tolerable like oh yeah this is a high one you be like oh yeah there there's that's the mm-hmm. so this episode is the beers per hour basically we've <laughs> talked per about hour? alcohol the entire time have we i mean <laughs> we haven't even been going for an hour we've we've only about for, alex jones we've i feel like for 20 minutes. we talked about alex jones for um, two minutes maybe yeah that's right and how he make hate a simple plan yes alex yeah jones. don't like some plan is Alex Jones the guy that thought that um, Dude, I'm gonna the water was shirt. turning the frogs gay? Is that Alex Jones? No, but isn't that an actual thing? And I don't know I if it's true feel or like not. That's a conspiracy. I mean, I I don't. I know there's like a meme. There's like okay, a meme now of wait a, of a, a wait guy, a minute. Like, wait a minute. Turning the you, frogs gay? Don't, I don't know. You don't know if that's true or not about the the fact that the. That turned no, I game. haven't looked into it. I don't. I'm just. You I'm. Think- I'm speaking from the meme perspective. I've seen the meme before of a guy shouting that. I don't know oh, okay. if it's Alex Jones or if it's whatever. I don't. I've not watched the video. I just okay. know that's a thing. I, I think we're confused because I think you're. You're saying it's like yeah. Never mind. It's done. I'm confused. We're all confused. confused. I'm confused. Now I'm googling it to see if that's. It was. Well, I think it was him. Yeah, Alex, Alex, Jones said the frogs. Alex Jones gay frogs rant is a meme. 
Oh God, is that his idea? Actually, that's yes. really annoying. Yeah, it, he's he's so man. Yeah, it refers to a viral segment of Infowars in which host Alex Jones claims that water is being poisoned with chemicals that are making the friggin' frogs gay. It was October 16th, 2015. Camera picked up me spill. Yeah. Hmm. That's so that's interesting. That's where I'd, I only know him from that, from the meme. From the, so, <laughs> so, so, so if you see any gay frogs, Alex Jones figured it out firsthand. <laughs> well, the thing is, is that frogs can change their sex. Can they? Right. Yeah. yeah. If there's, if there's not enough, Jurassic Park, if there's not enough males I mean, or females, it, yeah, but I don't know. Point just, Jurassic Park. That was a major plot point in Jurassic Park. Yeah, don't... that was why they ended up having. Okay, I watched this when I was like. 12. You haven't so, rewatched it. It's not in the movie. It barely in the movie, I feel like. Well, it's, it's more so it's, in the book, but well, it's in the oh, movie well, because they, they well, talk about they talk about splicing frog DNA with dinosaur yeah. DNA. And then that that concept is why the dinosaurs were able to just yeah. breed with Pulitzer everything. Because yeah, they were Pulitzer all supposed to be females, technically. That's mm, why they were never. And then yeah. one of them went all froggy and turned man. The yeah. only thing I remember from the books is when uh Newman got at by the uh, spitters. I remember that from the movie a lot because the spitter was a very distinct dinosaur. Right, but I remember from the book because uh, it very, very intensely de described graphic. how uh, the the dinosaur's claw touched his stomach on one side and went across, and then he felt his intestines spill out all over his lap. Like, ha! Oh! That, sounds, that sounds moist. <laughs> That's like the original Batman book. Dude, yeah, dark and graphic. <laughs> like, yeah, that Batman isn't just like your cartoony uh, character vigilante. No, he he oh, was no. brutal. He's the Dark Knight. That's the whole point. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. kind of DC as a studio is that they kind of go dark and gritty. Anyways, they do with a lot of the things. Yeah, yeah. I um. What was it that I was? My thought just left just gone. my head. No, I, I, I had, I literally had a sentence. Head empty, no and thoughts. It went gone, <laughs> completely. Are you guys caught up on all the superhero movies? No, no. What have you not seen? Um, I've watched all Marvel up to, um. The last movie. What's the was was it the was Spider Man the Endgame. last one? No, uh, uh, sorry, up, up to End Game. Sorry, you up watched end, up. To I, I've watched. Um, I've watched up to End Game. Okay, because I try to keep it like chronological. So did you did you see End Game or you didn't see End Game? I did. No, so I, did. I, I watched. Okay. I watched you all finished, of that. Um, you finished the um. What's that? There's a term for that. It's like the uh version. No, not version. It's like. Like they they they're categorizing uh, which what like what storyline the Marvel movies are following, mm. and the first like from Iron Man to Endgame is like called it's like it's not Section One or something. It's there's but it's something like that. It's Infinity War Saga. Is That's that what it's called? Yeah, That's all, it all it's called. No, there's not phases. Are you thinking it's of phases? Phase. Maybe because phases were a different thing entirely. I thought it was. I thought that. The end, end game was like the end of something. The Infinity born. War Sega. Well, that's yeah. only three movies. No, the Infinity War Sega is the entirety of that because from the very beginning, that's what it was leading up to. From Iron Man 1? Yes. Uh, oh, oh, Go ahead, Devin. make one say something. Saga. Saga. Sega. No. Sega Genesis. No, Sega, Sega no. is S E. Infinity yeah. War Sega Genesis. That's what we call it. <laughs> <laughs> in the biz, it's a business term. You, got, I know you're not in the biz. You okay. are. You're gonna make me so mad. I'm gonna saga. I will work on that for you. Um, <laughs> Just like how I'm gonna work on spatter for you. Thank so. you. 
<laughs> um, I don't remember that at all, but thank you. <laughs> so that's great. Alan, that, was what like, was, that was a big point in the last episode. I know. I don't like, remember. You even my... stopped my me mid conversation to bring out spatter against splatter. I don't. Oh, now I remember. It. <laughs> you brought it up again. Thank you. I remember it now. Okay. So um, the, the infinity saga <laughs> encompasses phase one, phase two and phase three. Yes. So the phases are smaller. Are Correct. broken up smaller, but the Infinity Saga is from is the first twenty three films, so it's from yes. Iron Man to Endgame. Correct. So, so now like everything that. after that is now is a new new part thing. Of it. I don't know if they're calling that Phase One still technically, or well, what because Phase Three phase, phase Three was was Endgame and stuff like that yeah. stuff was Phase Three. So I don't think they would call it Phase One again. So what what do you guys think of the X Men? I like them. Like where where it's gonna go now? I don't, I don't know. know where it's gonna go now. It's, okay, it's we, do we actually know where it's gonna go now. I, I don't think so because like the originals we had were very good. Like when they first came out, obviously they're very cheesy. Yeah, I don't. Oh, think but I they were good the most, though. I don't think I've seen the most recent X Men. I, I have not seen the new class stuff when they went. In the past, Logan okay. was the last one I saw. Logan I mean, was because, good. and again, I never saw Logan yet. Logan was sad though. Get ready to cry. Okay, just saying. Um, probably, especially, especially if you're if you're if you're attached to the Hugh Jackman Wolverine as a character. Mm, I, I think very if, much so. Am. Then Logan is. Sad. I think if you're just attached to Wolverine itself. As a character, I don't know because, well, see again because if I, you're I, if you don't if you do, if you didn't see all that Hugh Jackman Wolverine went through as a character, I, I'm not talking about just that because again I'm a little, just you know not too much older but a little bit older than you guys, so Wolverine like with comics and the mm -hmm. the animation and things like that Hugh yeah. Jackman has no part in it other than that he looked basically how you wanted Logan to look. Right, like that. That's like that was the guy you wanted. Mm -hmm. But if you are a Wolverine fan, mm -hmm. and like that's your character, even if like he isn't like quite your favorite character, but like he was pretty big in there, you're going to have such an emotional bond and mm -hmm. feeling to this last movie because it ties so many things with like. Uh, Professor X and all of the, it does. Yeah. the bad things. Well, so like Wolverine fun. was my favorite character growing up, like playing like the, uh, I honestly don't even know what it was on, but like, I remember the, the X-Men, like, uh, whatever that style of game was where like you just the, go the side scrolling. So, yeah. So, the side uh, scrolling. Everything. Was it the arcade game? Yeah. The arcade game. But then they also, they ported it to something else where it was, it was on some sort of Dude. console. I don't remember what it was, but I, I remember like that was my favorite game. Wolverine was the best, um, so I'll, I'll definitely cry in this. Night yeah. Nightcrawler was also really good in the in the uh, X Men game. Yes, I Wolverine, Cyclops, Nightcrawler, bam. Yeah, I feel like so. I get what you're saying about the the character as a whole definitely would come into play if you're attached yeah. to a character. But I think what what I'm trying to say is that even if you love Wolverine as a character, like if you read the comics and you play the games and you love Wolverine, but you haven't seen the Hugh Jackman version of it, then mm -hmm. then Logan wouldn't hit you as hard. True, because that, that because I do agree with. Be, like because you get connected to the specific character that Hugh Jackman played across the various X Men movies. And yes. then Logan is a culmination of that that whatever universe the MCU is in that it's a culmination of that character, regardless of whatever character you knew in the comics or the games or anything else. Yes, I I totally agree with that. Yeah, but it's a great movie. I loved it. So as a state, though, like, I mean, how do you guys feel about the X Men movies? Like, do you feel like? Let me let's just, just I get back seen, to that. I haven't seen the last like the new. So you never order. saw any first class stuff. No, so like first class is where I stopped. Okay. And like the new mutants, that was where I wanted to get back into it, just because it's more. Oh, I never watched any of that. Okay. 
So I haven't watched any of that either. Because like okay. because that is like where it left off with the other stuff. Gotcha. Like that's kind of where it was going to, and where the new mutants also ties into Logan too. Mm -hmm. There's okay. a a big tie in with that. Um, I do think that they did good in trying to like reboot it and get people back into it and like get this thing going, but having those original characters. Especially the main ones. You have you you have Cyclops, you have Storm, you have um Wolverine, Beast, and uh not Jubilee, you have uh Mystique? Rogue. Sorry, Rogue. It's like those were the main like five right. X Men that you had. Jubilee was one of those weird ones where she did fireworks out of her fingers. Uh, although uh, the Jean cartoon Gray made Ray was technically a, a pretty big one. Who? Jean Grey was an OG, though. That's, uh, that's uh, Rogue. Um, that's Rogue. No. Jean Grey, Jean Grey is not Rogue. Jean Grey is... Jean Grey is... Oh, uh, wait, no. Jean Grey was technically an OG before Rogue was. She was, she was the Rogue Phoenix. Rogue was like... Yeah. Rogue was an addition. Yeah. You're thinking of... The, Jean Grey was the Phoenix. She was she was Cyclops' love interest that went crazy. That Logan also loved. Huh, yeah, maybe I'm mixing some things up. There was a whole movie about her going crazy. Right. But they even did, like the, the OG dark, comics, the it was Phoenix. just Jean Grey. There was no yeah. Rogue yet at all. Yeah. Right. Well, well, th that's two different people. Yeah, yeah, Jean, that's what we're saying. Jean, Jean Grey, yeah, yeah, Jean, Jean Grey and, and yeah. Phoenix, yeah, yeah. No, no, Jean Grey and Phoenix are the same people. Or yeah, Phoenix, yeah, sorry, it's Rogue, that's what I meant, sorry. Yeah. Right. He's, we, Devin, we went too Devin's far. I, I, I lost my point. I lost my point. Sorry. Uh, that's fine. Um, but anyways, the the whole, like, OG X-Men mm -hmm. of, like, those particular people is what everybody wants. But then you get the people that you love that are mm -hmm. the perfect cast for those people. You know, like uh, Gene Hackman for Logan. Gene Jackman. Like, are you huge, huge Hackman. Oh, my God. What? 9.9. .9. <laughs> Do you guys want to hear a dad joke I heard today? Sure. Lay it on us. Okay. What's the difference between a good joke and a bad joke? Timing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, are I we like gonna that. get? Are we gonna get some Devin's little workshop? Two yeah. knife and sick. You're yeah, he's, he's been dead for two week. weeks. Oh, for two weeks. <clears throat> you said it was almost done. It was almost done, and then I almost died. Okay, <laughs> I almost Al died. Al almost done means like everything's recorded. It's just mixing. No, no, almost done means he wrote it all down, and he just has to record it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's coming. It's coming. Okay. That's what she said. He was talking <laughs> to me about it. He was talking to me about a couple <laughs> cool ideas he had of doing stuff. Yeah, oh, I yeah. got, I got some stuff in the works. Um, yeah. Yeah, oh, t talking with talking with one half of BPM here. I yeah. got stuff in the works. Okay, I see it's not a doing. no. It was just throwing it out randomly in the midst of another. It was. Conversation it was just for you. me and Devin. <laughs> yeah, about <laughs> so me. We were yeah. talking about you. <laughs> it, something how, just came up. How to just like get me out? Yeah. Okay. How can we nicely kick me out <laughs> 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 while still having him edit of the podcast that he. <laughs> Kind of started, but really didn't. But now, really did. How you can we like, get him out and somehow reintroduce <laughs> yeah. Tyler? Yeah, we're gonna replace him with Tyler somehow. <laughs> this is a all along. This is a long game. Damn you, Tyler! It was all Tyler's. You got me again. <laughs> Foiled again. <laughs> <laughs> That's the beginning of mixed villain arc. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so do you guys uh i mean do you guys want to do some would you rathers yeah kind of i'm always down for would you rathers I would love to do some would you rathers i think we all need to we all need to start looking up fun questions to ask the group because that's I think, what I've, I've seen a lot of other podcasts do like even just on tiktok their highlights is like a question that they ask and then laugh about and that's right. the, that's the video. 
You know what they don't do, though? What do they? What do they don't do? Talk about how they should do that during their podcast. The they might. Podcast do. They might. I don't think so. They might. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Think, hey, we're stealing from you. It's fine though. I didn't name anybody. Them. No, but would you rather? No. Wear the same socks for a month, or the same underwear for a week? Socks. Underwear. Totally not socks. You would definitely choose socks. Yeah. This is a big, this is kind of a toss up for me because I mean, socks for a week, like go gross already. I would get, I would have um, feet pains. I feel like if my socks weren't, you would have feet uh, diseases. Like there would be diseases. Well, I don't know if I would, if I'd get feet diseases, but they would get soaked with sweat after a couple of days and then they would just be uncomfortable to walk in and I'd get blisters that would then get infected probably. Well, yeah, they're because of the sweat because of the sweat and stuff. Yeah. Underwear. I feel like I could wear for fungus. If I, if I made sure to to shower vigorously and then, and then flip the underwear halfway through the week, I think I could do a week with the same underwear. You sure you want to stick with that month on the socks, Mick? A month. I, I guess it depends it. on your job too. It depends on what you're doing. Are you? Well, do like, you ha- do you have to wear them every single day? Every time yes. you'd wear socks normally, you're wearing yes. these socks. Okay. You don't get to change your your like you don't. If I'm gonna I wear flip flops now. If I don't wear shoes, do I wear socks? If you would wear them normally. Normally, yes. Okay, that's fine. I could, yeah. I feel like it's it's for a month. It's for thirty days. Thirty days you're wearing socks every like single you just day. Have to wear I them think, constantly. I think I could, Same with I underwear. I think, you're I wearing it you, for every day for a week. What well, underwear I, you wear anyways? Yeah, I I feel like socks would be better because you could take them as soon as you're done working or whatever you're doing. You can take them off and let them dry or whatever you know. Like if they're sweaty. They would be crispy socks. They would be they would be nice and crispy. Be some crispy they would, well, I feel but like... also, also, you can put those bad boys in the freezer. <laughs> and those will be nice and sterilized <laughs> when they're nice and hard oh. and you flick them and you know all the crystals fall down. I feel like you're good. Like you just need... flick off the, 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 the skin particles. I feel like we need some more stipulations for this question because if we're allowed to take you off know, the article of clothing, we could just wash them. No, you're not allowed to wash it. But that wasn't the question. It was okay. It well was... that that's stipulation then. That's you what I'm saying. Is, would yeah. you rather wear socks for a month or the same underwear for a week? You're wearing it twenty four seven. Okay. So you or... can't take the socks off. Oh okay no. wait 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 Okay, well then That's you're what I'm saying like if you can take them off, then you can just wash them. Like you have to be able to. We have to say twenty four seven on. The whole okay, twenty four seven. Then obviously underwear, because I ain't pooping in my pants. Hopefully not more than normal. Uh, what? And no, you I'm, have to wear them I'm, even when you're going to the bathroom. You're just pooping your pants for a week. That's what this means. <laughs> No, I'm assuming you can take them off when you shower, and you can take off them off when you go to the bathroom, right? Ba- like, yeah, re- basically. Regular so use. Okay. But, but you can't... do you get to take your socks off when you go to the bathroom? No. I mean, you are prolonging a period of time there. Do you get oh, to take look. your socks off when you... Hi, child! Hello, child. Goodbye, child. <laughs> <laughs> she saw the camera and just shuffled sideways. <laughs> oh, God! No, she saw my flick and shuffled sideways. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny um yeah you could i think you take them both off when you shower but then you only get to take under off when you go to the bathroom not socks and you have to sleep in these two i'm assuming sleep in them yes i don't think you should take them off if you shower too or so no because if, think... if you can shower in them then that's basically washing them right that would defeat the purpose R- okay yeah okay yeah, you yeah. can't shower. Right. Yeah, I was uh, sorry. I, my my lanes were confused. Yes, you cannot shower in either. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Is this is this the term for my my wire? My, our wires got crossed a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> my lanes got confused. <laughs> You're drinking a lot. That's what that no, means. I uh, <laughs> I don't know. Just... Hang hang loose, bro. All right, let's let's get to the bottom of this one. Of of underwear your socks, Calvin. Underwear socks. I picked underwear. I'm sticking with it. Mick. 
cannot take them off for a full Month. time. Unless you're showering. That's it. But, okay. For either? For what? Socks. Can't take socks off for a month. You take them off at your normal times that you take them off. You, no, you said 24-7, Devin. Okay, sorry. Yes, you take them off for when you go into the shower. That's it. When you, you pull them down when you go to the bathroom. I'm yeah. sorry. I don't know. This is a yeah, basic no, thing. I'm just saying, saying. You it's don't like, get to just take them off at the moment you're done with your eight-hour work shift and hang mm-hmm. them out the window. And throw I them in the same with my underwear then too. Why yeah. not though? Why, but why couldn't we do that? Because that, uh, just be normal. Be question. normal with your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you have to treat the same clothes normally. <laughs> just be normal. <laughs> why, you don't put your underwear in the, in the freezer normally? What's wrong no. with you? Do you do that every oh. single day? Well, yeah, if you do that every single day already, every that's fine. Day. I would every just day. take them off and I'll put them back on again. I would just go commando. <laughs> Easy. Easy but win. Then, then you're just staining your jeans and. Yeah, but I can. That's not in the question, so I can just wash those and change them. It doesn't matter. Do you wash your jeans after like uh, six months? No, 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 no. Do you wash your jeans? My washing machine does. What are you asking? I do all the laundry at my house. Are you the primary laundry person? Yes. Yes. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. Cool. Okay, that's exactly what I was trying to get to. The only thing Jennifer washes is the baby diapers because she does it with special stuff. Oh, she, the, she oh wait, do you, do you use cloth reusable? diapers? Yes. Oh, I know. What? Couldn't do it. Could not do it. It's easy. Couldn't make no. you do it. No, no, sorry. Uh, no, because I am sorry. Milk, milk poop is water soluble. Uh, you can just throw them in. It, nope. it dissolves in the water. Nope. It I, does. It's not worth it. You both are having a mental block right now mm-hmm. and not mm-hmm. understanding. No, no, I, no, 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 I totally understand the uh, It's variable. cost effective and convenient. Yes, but it's gross. It, no, it's not convenient. It is not it is actually. Convenient. No, I not would, convenient. No, no, yes. It is yeah, wrong, yeah. but it's convenient. No. Coming from not. a, no, it is more convenient to end up doing disposable. I'm telling you that right now. Nope. Yep. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. That's so much garbage. That that to, no, no, no. It's away. more convenient. No. That's absolutely your more convenient. Gar- your garbage can will overflow with duty with duty diapers. Holy no. crap, do you have the smallest garbage can on earth? No, I have the biggest one I could get. Do you have a uh one of those Mine was a normal cans? garbage can, it was fine. I I had full. It was I had to like store bags of it in the garage and wait for the next shipment of garbage. How much no. trash are you throwing away on a daily maybe, basis? Maybe your baby's just pooping way too much. The cloth diapers are great because okay. I just want to make sure that I'm, it's not convenient. Not I am. Convenient. I am. I will team argue the conveniency no of cloth it. diapers. Any I'm day. Sorry. Cloth diapers are great. No. Okay, mm. and I I get team. that. If you are able to do that, I think it's way better. I, I think I 100% support it. I, I think could not do it. You, my wife could if, not do it. If you gag when we talk about throwing up, then maybe it's just not for you. Oh, I mean, it's that, not for me. Normal. Yeah. Ooh, that this would probably be a bad bad week to. Uh... Oh, I'm not gonna do any. I'm not gonna throw up this mm-hmm. week. COVID sure? doesn't make you throw up. I mean, it might. It might. COVID, it, COVID's mean, not the flu. It doesn't make you nauseous normally. No, no. but but it might still. You never know. Okay, I another would you rather? Let, let's get ahead of this. <laughs> Are you, are you worried? You worried that you were the devil? Like, I got um, uh, it locked would you up. Rather, to go? Would you rather always have BO and not know it or always smell BO on everyone else? Always smell BO on everybody else. Calvin, you can't just you can't just throw that out so definitively like that. Nah. That's how my brain works. Everybody's going to hate you. I'm, no, if you're I choosing the option that everybody. BO? You're yes. just smelling you, everybody else. Why would they hate me? They don't know. You, no, he said, Oh, sorry, I see what you're people, saying. I got you. Got he's you, saying got you. people in general. No, no, I understand. What? So sorry. You'd rather always smell BO on everybody else. Yes. And deal with that disgusting smell. I have no issue with that. Assaulting your senses. I, I'm, I don't gag like you do, Devin. So <laughs> that wouldn't be an issue for me. I can deal with smells. They're just smells. But there, there are certain ones that are unpleasant. I have never I mean, you can't deny that. Smell, there are certain smells that are unpleasant. Sure, but I've never smelled a smell I couldn't deal with. 
what's the worst bo you i mean imagine the worst bo you smelled and that's what you're smelling that's fine. from everybody easy easy yeah easy mick mode. this is not as easy this is not easy right I've no smelled, i've smelled dead things BO we're not talking about dead i know i'm saying I, I've had, I've we're had talking it. about just <laughs> i'm saying compared to a rotting body bo is nothing that's not where we're comparing it to, though. We're not That's comparing it to a rotting. It, no, we're we're comparing our the standard of like bo smell that you smell with sure. what everybody else smells. I'm not like what we can. Smells. We're not ranking all smells. Well, that's this is what just, I'm doing. Because if, but if that's you're not, saying that's I have to not smell question, this though. smell, no, it is. I'm telling you why it relates to the question. If I have to smell this smell all the time, I'm saying this smell on the rank of smells is low. That's an easy smell. I'm not like sure I'm you've smelled bad bo then. I have because it's so. I'm just like I, I'm. I, I mean, imagine <laughs> this: like you wake up in the morning, mm -hmm. and Jennifer is just permeating the smell to you in the morning. <laughs> you go to work; everybody you're around per assaults your senses with this smell. Mm -hmm. You go home after a long day of just smelling gross people. Mm -hmm. And Jennifer is sitting there cooking in the kitchen with the smell just permeating this house of yours. Yeah. And you go to sleep smelling that. Easy. Like, that's, that's just easy for you. Yeah. <laughs> smells, smells don't bother me. <laughs> it's coming um, from the man who uses reusable diapers. Can you, can you ask the question again? Would you rather always have BO and not know it? Or... Always smell BO on everyone else. Okay. So you so always that doesn't say how bad their BO is. Does but it? it doesn't matter if they're wearing any protection. Right. Right. You, you always, smell, always smell BO no matter what it is. It doesn't that, mean like it's this level it, or this level. You will always have a temporal level of this is BO. It's not like a oh it's right. extremely bad or oh it's not that it's bad. It's just regular BO. But it's like that. Yeah. I wouldn't say like just regular BO. I would say it is the the level of that like the question doesn't make it sound like it's extreme BO. Is it, it sounds it makes it sound like you just smell BO on people regardless of what they do. Like whether they're wearing deodorant or they just showered or whatever, everyone smells unshowered and unwashed. Yeah. All the time. So that's not, oh my god, you just crawled through a sewer pipe. That's just, you didn't shower today. That's not like, a problem. But it could be, though, because I smelled people who are totally fine and was like, wow, did you just crawl out of a porta potty And like, no, I just took a shower. But is it, is it... Th that's just how is they it smell. Is per person, or is it just you smell ABO smell on everybody? I think it, it's variable. It varies based off each I think it varies. Smell. I think that's... So, variable and what was what was was it if if i smell is it the my worst bo everybody smells but i don't know about it or is it just yep. any bo right sorry if, if i'm the smelly one is it my worst bo ever i don't know i mean variable what is it you is always have a say? it just says would you rather always have bo and not okay. know it so or if so, always smell bo on everyone else so for example if i was a person that didn't have bo right you still have it. Yes, but it would be it would be my level of bo if that's what we're saying. I guess. I guess. So like it would I be like no. It would, guess, it would be the worst. Constantly, the it smell it. The because smell would that, be if you hadn't is. taken a shower for seven days across the board, whether it's somebody else or you. Seven that's, days, one week. You're just, you're just adding things to the question now. I'm just well. I'm you want a constant. I'm giving you a constant. Yeah. It smells as if you haven't showered for a week, and for everybody else's smell, it smells like they haven't showered for a week. Okay. Across the board. Okay. Everybody else. Now, would you still stick with yeah. you'd rather smell everybody else? Yeah. Mick? Nah. I would rather I would rather have a, a relatively unpleasant smell constantly than have everyone else mad at me all the time. <laughs> That's easy. You're the, you're the sin eater, man. I mean, you just you just eat that all up. You're willing to take one for the team. You're willing to take a bullet, you know? Yeah, Go catch a grenade that's for me, man. That's, 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 smells that's what I know. That much. Ugh. I honestly think yeah. I would rather just deal with the BO and die alone. A, a sad, <laughs> lonely life. Or, or <laughs> just never smelling it. I don't know. That's pretty selfish. 
I'm just, sorry. I don't think I can do it though. I know my constitution. <laughs> yeah, I know your con- yeah, your constitution is not is not existent. That's what your constitution you, is. You like. have you have a minus three on your constitution. Yeah, <laughs> you rolled you rolled four ones on your constitution roll. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Did I nice. did you guys, you guys know said that, that at the same time? I just recently learned that that's how you're supposed to roll D and D stats. Did you guys know that? What you roll? Wow. You roll four d sixes and then take away one you don't like. Yeah, you take the three highest and then. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't yeah, know that. You take the three highest and you get rid of the last. I learned one. that. I learned that recently. When I was rolling for stats, I rolled a d twenty and took the stat. What were you rolling for, sir? All of my stats. No, no. no. What game were you rolling for? Regular D and D. Just when? When? When, when, yeah, when, was, when did? When did this happen? You weren't there. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it does. This this matters profusely, sir. Why? Because I have been wanting to do this stuff so when when what oh what, like, you're asking when did, I, when did I you're asking when which, i played this D game because you wanted one, to know which one sir why you weren't invited <laughs> put his own character stats and uh disregarded his other bimps in this set. it was it was before this podcast existed oh okay well even then Don't you still so mad okay it was it was a while ago that's fine okay but yes. no, just like that's how I've always rolled my stats. I didn't know that there was a specific way to do it. I never looked up how do you There's roll. There's several stats. ways, isn't there? What there's you can a end few up, different ways. You yeah. end up taking there's the standard couple. stat range and there's, apply them. There's three there's ways. Like a point by one, right? Yeah, there's standard stats. Mm-hmm. There's the point by, and then there's rolling, which is right. the the true rolling is the best way to do it. it that is why it, Fergus Nipple Cheek has a minus three in his charisma. Yeah. If you want to actually do role playing and not just make a character that you want to play, then yes, <laughs> just rolling your stats is the best. If you if you want to just if you already have a character in mind that you want to do and you just want to make that character, then rolling stats is not what you want to do. You want to do a point by or something. Like if you if you want to play a paladin, I feel like you overall a, you should end up rolling either way. You make a strong I, boy. I disagree completely. I think when you start a character you can come up with your your whatever you want to be your backstory and then you roll for your stats mm-hmm. i i think that is the best way to do that because that sounds horrible that sounds like everyone's going to get handicapped into a dumb character because you're going to get a bad that's role. not no because you don't always get dumb roles though that's the thing is you can be really good at charisma but you can be really bad at defense but if you're a paladin, or yeah. not paladin, because paladin's more defense. But if you're like a rogue, and you have bad defense, but you have really good like charisma and, sure. and you have your agility and and dexterity and stuff, like that's but it's like way it's, more beneficial for you. If I if I decided that I wanted to play a mage or a wizard okay. or something, and I made this whole character up, and then I rolled seven on my int stat, I'm playing mm-hmm. a dead character. No, you're not. Because well, you have you to get... end up applying it to that specific stat. I thought it was yeah. just you rolled it a certain amount of times, and you can assign them. You no, can assign those numbers. You say it's I'm rolling one. my int stat now, and you roll four, so four, you can... four uh, d sixes, and then that's your int stat. That that's a a thing where you can do that to where you can roll like for each stat, or you can roll all of them and be like, I'm going to apply this one to this one and this one to this one. I, I guess like I've only that's... done it that way. I feel like I'd want to roll all my stats first and then make a character based off the stats. I I feel like making the character first is the best way to do it. I because feel like it, you, it depends on what you want out of the game, I guess. Because, because if, you, if if you're highly role play focused and just want to like immerse yourself in whatever character that you happen to get and like test your role play skills, then yes, definitely make up your whole character and then see what the fates give you with stats basically. But if you if you want to play more like if you if you want a specific type like play style like oh I've always played rogues or whatever and I want to play you know a strength based character now like if you if you think about it more from a a regular like a video game RPG style I know that you're not supposed to play a tabletop RPG like a video game RPG because they're different but if if you connect more with RPG characters based off of your experience with gaming. 
you might want to make a specific character you have in mind. And in that case, you would, if you are rolling stats, you want to roll stats first to see what kind of character that you want to make. Or do a point by or something. I could see the way you're doing that. Like, I, like how I've gone with it, though, was like, I haven't had an idea for a character. Mm-hmm. And then I just roll for my stats. Because, like, I feel like this person should be this good. Mm-hmm. But if I don't roll that good, eh, that, that's how the character is. Yeah. And you improvise. I've, yeah, he, he may be a high elf, which with, you know, great charisma, but he can't his, read. He, yeah, his <laughs> intelligence is minus three. So, yes, he is very educated, but mm-hmm. he can't tell you anything anything says. Would that be intelligence or wisdom? It, that's, that depends. Like, it depends on what you, whichever way you want to go with that stat. Well, I feel like those stats mean specific things. Though. I mean, they're kind like if, kind you of looked, if you looked up, if you looked up, like what is what is the wisdom stat mean for a wisdom would be more of like you. knowing what the thing is doing or things like that, you know, like I feel like wisdom is, how this thing would act. I feel like wisdom is more general and intelligence is more book smart. When I yeah. think of the words, like so, say if like yeah, if his if his int stat was four, he can't read, but if his wisdom stat is seventeen, he's like a prodigy when it comes to real world problems type of thing. Like no book smarts can't read, can't, you know, his interpersonal maybe sucks. Basically you made a character with autism is yeah. what you did. <laughs> yeah, but then, but then, Low in high wisdom. You have to roll a, a D 100 to see like what part of the scale you're on. Oh yeah. So like, is this something that's going to like hyper focus me or is I, yeah. am I just going to like, That'd be interesting. Out, and this is the thing I love oh, the most. Dude, what if we did it? What if we did a DNA <laughs> campaign with the, where every character had a mental disability? <laughs> That'd be great. And we had to play it like that. That'd be insane. That'd be so fun. We'd get canceled probably. I mean, I think I, my my wife may uh, be on board. On I'd like that. my character to have Tourette's. And- Tourette's. <laughs> Tourette's is probably right, if, you, I- if you're like if you have to pick a mental disability to have Tourette's is probably the best one. I mean, Tourette's yes. really, when you see the, like, stuff that people do when they have Tourette's, mm-hmm. it is pretty crippling at times. It can be, yeah. Like, well, they cannot, like, cook something normally yeah. with Tourette's because, well, there's like, there's like so imagine, egg- like, going for a sword swing and your hand just stops midway and you throw mm-hmm. your sword, like, there could yeah. be some interesting there's stuff. There's some crazy Tourette's. things. Yeah, because Tourette's, it's not just words. It's not no, just no, no, you're no. swearing all the time. <laughs> it wouldn't like be that. Some people think. <laughs> it would also be that. Because <laughs> there's, like, there's like a TikTok challenge where people with Tourette's try to see how long they can hold an egg in their hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they always end up throwing it at the wall. No, I've seen a couple. Ca- there's a couple like, tic- like TikTokers with Tourette's that I follow. That, mm-hmm. you know, they'll, That's like, one big one. They're trying to cook something and they'll smash an egg on their head. Mm-hmm. And they'll try to keep trying to cook it, and they'll end up smashing four eggs on their head before they can yeah. end up actually trying to cook it. Yep. There's one Tourette's Twitch streamer that I've seen a few times. It's hilarious. I can't think of what her name is right now, though. Um, I just saw a video recently of a guy on TikTok with Tourette's, where one of his tics, like a tic that just developed, was him covering his face and crying, crying and saying, "Please no." And like it just happens. So like he'll be in the middle of a conversation and then he'll do that tick. And he's like, Why is this happening? I can't leave my house now. <laughs> like he's like, what is my brain doing right now that makes this happen? Tretz is really interesting. Like the amount that like it it just varies so much. Mm-hmm. Like I yeah. had a friend who ended up having Tourette's who it, apparently it was very minor at the point that I knew him that what his Tourette's would end up doing, but earlier mm-hmm. in his life, Tourette's would be very different for him, but he would just occasionally make, like, dolphin sounds, or... You said you had meow. a friend? Yeah. <laughs> I think I know who this guy is. Yeah, you probably know who the guy is. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> Put him like, on blast! Yeah, I think I know him. Yeah, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, I, yeah, and that's another thing, too, is that, like, Tourette's is also on the spectrum. Like, you could have high-functioning... Tourette's, Speaking where of all this, yeah, sorry, where you don't have a lot of <laughs> invasive ticks, or you could be like 
like look like you're having a seizure all the time. You know, like it could depend. Yeah, true. When when you crack them open, put it right up up to the mic. We put it right up on there. Yeah, that <laughs> that is our thing. We we Mac- gotta we gotta accentuate. When you when you put your headphones yes. back on, you put them over your microphone, and I could hear <laughs> Devin twice for a couple seconds. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice double, double D. Double U. Double D. Is that the can as premium? Premier? Uh Premier. The current what is it? Premier. Yeah, it's the it's, it's lo- the Michelob. It, it's the Michelob Corona. Corona. Show it to me. No, 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 no. Okay. You're gonna make him <laughs> no. Mm-mm. Everybody knew what, where that sentence was going. Mm-mm. It's They're the Corona Premier, and I haven't seen that before. Okay, okay, he's he's okay now. Go ahead, Joe. I'm fine. I was always fine. You, it's, it's when, just the when it's you what, said two that, carbs that like, they say they have on it. It's yeah, very. Sure. That was on purpose. Yeah, I just I'm just go ahead and just uh, I'm gonna bring up the frame. No I'm <clears> testing <throat> out my I'm testing out my sultry ASMR voice for later. Why? Why? Yeah, you're why not you're very good at it. I know. I, I, I don't like how uh, how close you're being uh, to that pop filter. You shouldn't be sucking on it. You should be like real close to it. No. You both have terrible ASMR. Oh yeah, Devin, would, tell me yours. I no. would not like your ASMR. You wouldn't like not, my ASMR. I'm not actually trying to do ASMR. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> Calvin, try. Go ahead and try. I don't. I don't hear you I don't actually know try. How to do ASMR? I'd have to get like something. I'd have to be like because they do a lot of like. I thought no. your ASMR oh, would God, be your no. ASMR. Like, uh-uh. No. Whatever that. That would no be your ASMR. Hear, no one is going to hear Calvin touching on his microphone. No. Mm-mm. Mick doesn't like I, ASMR. Mm-mm. No. I don't like I, ASMR. I, ASMR is the entire concept is creepy. No, it's yes. not. Yes. I do not like the ASMR where they're sitting there like running their nails on the microphone. Mm. No. That is not soothing to anybody. What kind of ASMR do you like? What kind? None. I mean, no, I used to think you, that I hadn't you, find the. I'm just telling you, I'm, I used to think I hadn't found the right kind of ASMR, but now I just don't think ASMR is like good for anybody. It's just creepy, and it's like I. F- I feel like you're listening to creepy ASMR artists if you think ASMR is creepy. <laughs> that's so. Don't that's so, don't help me like that. I don't. Like, <laughs> I don't like that thing like for them either. ASM artists? Yeah, no. That's that, what that's they're not, called? I don't that's like what they're that. Called. That's the term. No. I don't like that, that is, at all. No, that that hit that, that just makes me feel weird. That, Why? That's gross. <laughs> I don't know. Really call them that. A, ASM artist? It feels what, Would you want to say like ASMR artist? I, ASMR Pe- content people that scratch out their microphones because that's not well that's not all the ASMR is either. There's like Wh- whisper there's, people. I don't there's like liquid ASMR. There's visual ASMR, which is technically an oxymoron. Um, that's weird. There's I, I, mm. lots of types of it. It's not just I don't, scratching a microphone. I promise. I I know it's not, but that's what I see and what I get, and I don't like it. I could recommend some ASMR videos no. for you. I don't want. We should do. Oh, we should do ASMR react. Oh, gross! <sighs> like we won't. We won't play the ASMR on the podcast. We'll just um, play it in your headphones not. and we'll no, watch we, your reaction. We, no, we could. We could do it where like we sit for like twenty minutes and listen to the thing. What if we all yeah. hold hands and we listen to ASMR no. together in the same room? Now that that would be gay chicken. <laughs> there we go. We're back. We're bringing that back around. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm ready to do some some live stuff though, or in person stuff, anyways. Definitely. Speaking of that, the we have stuff? yes, we have a Mario Kart tournament coming up very soon, which is going to be real fun. So I just spilled beer all over my thing. Awesome. That's not good. Nah, uh, eh, it's fine. It's on the keyboard. It's just this thing. It's on the keyboard. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's, yeah, it it's does the thing. I have. I clicked the button, and it's fine. We have Mario Kart tournament coming up really soon. It's going to be at the Wild Man Brewing, uh, or not brewing, the Wild Man Gastro Pub in Olympia, Washington. I'm kind of nervous about it. You're nervous? Why are you nervous about it? Because I've never hosted an event before. 
That's cool. We just got to be fun and funny. And <laughs> like, are are we playing? Just pretend like you're doing ASMR. No, no, no we're no. the same we're, thing. We're the hosts. So we we're just going to hang out. We have, do we have to commentate live? Oh, f- while it's happening, dude. Is that what we're doing? Like, I don't really know what we're doing there. What are we doing? Yeah. Okay. So we we're gonna have we're gonna have we're the we're the guys to make sure that like everything goes according to how it should go. Sure. Or, I understand you know. the concept of like being a regular regulatory authority with a contest. Like we're supplying. But you also need to be a personality. That's what I'm asking about. Like, yeah, yeah we're supplying. Do you have a personality? Sometimes. What do we um, need to do to get that personality turned to eleven? <laughs> turned to eleven. Can can, can we you listen to a bunch of ASMR before? Can what we, we shine it to a nine? Is is there a way we can polish it to a nine? Let, I just let me finish my question. <laughs> 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 so, like, I know that we're supplying the hardware and we're setting the rules, and we're gonna be there when they're doing it. Are we yes. recording? Are we recording them doing it? No. So, I'm I'm sure somewhat yes, somewhat like are we? Because I don't know. I don't, if, I don't know if I'm gonna want to like make it a full like thing. We're gonna record completely, but at least we'll have some highlights and stuff. So I, th- something. So, so I think how, I how think are we recording will... it? Like, I mean, are we gonna have a it... capture card on a switch? Or are we just gonna oh, be taking a video of the screen? This will be. This is off camera stuff, but sure. Well, yeah, it, it yeah. doesn't matter really. It's we can talk. About it does. No, it does because I have to cut it out. We have stuff. Wait, that, why do you have to cut it out? This is happening, and we're all excited for it. Yeah, it's a podcast where we talk about upcoming projects. What does but, it matter if we talk about how we're recording something? Because it's it's technical. It is a lot. Nobody of likes seeing the sausage get made. Some people. No, do. they do. Do you? You know what? The type of now, people who like yeah, ASMR like seeing sausage, like the sausage being made. <laughs> no, people like the people do you like not the like things. seeing the sausage being made. People I'm like sorry. behind the scenes stuff. This is too behind the scenes. This is behind no, the behind the scenes. It's not even. It's not even behind the food scenes. But then we're co- we're commentating. We're commentating on our. We'll be there. We'll be hanging out. Come check us out. Are we going to have like a booth set up? Hang out. Need to come see us at stuff like that. Yes, we will. You might be able to hear a little bit of Calvin's famous ASMR. Well, (laughs) if you want to, we'll have some some headphones directly linked to a microphone, where Calvin's going to be just like the entire time. (sighs) I'll just put it. I'll put the microphone in my mouth. No. Oh. Gross. Yeah, and then no, you can just I don't hear my mouth to, sounds the whole time. You Gross. are not touching any of my 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 lap mark m- mics at all. Lav, like, lav mics. My lab mics are off limits for you. It's okay, Jennifer has one. I can I can borrow. Okay, well that's your wife, so she can. I'll put it in my cheek. You can no, slap her really on it. that as much as you would like to, but that's not what's going to happen with yeah. ours. But soon. In September, we're going to have the Mario Kart tournament. It should be really cool. Uh, we're going to have some standard buy a beer from Wildman Gastropub. You get entered into it. We're going to have like three or four different races or three different tiers of races and things. I, I don't know the terminology completely it's yet. A, well, in Mario Kart, it's four races. It's a cup. Are we doing a cup? Uh, so we're doing a cup, and then we're doing a two, and then we're doing a one. So we're doing four races, we're doing two races, and we're doing one race. Okay. Yes. Seven seven tiers. Wait. Or seven races. Se- se- we're, ma- seven. we're making the same people do four, then two, and then one? No. I'm confused. Behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> behind, behind the okay. behind the making. <laughs> okay, here, here we go. PM. BPM is hosting a Mario Kart tournament sometime in September, very soon, which you can get on all of our socials. It's going to be four races against four races. Each of the first and second place is going to move up to the next tier, which is going to be four races. And the next first and second tier, or first and second place, is going to move up to the last one, which is going to be the first and second of the last ones. Easy, easy. I don't think that's how Mario Kart works. That's We're how, making that's it how, our own. That is it's how, not about how it actually works. We're making it our own. Exactly. That is how this Mario Kart is going to work. So are you saying races or racers? Races. We're going to have 
four races with four different com uh, competitors in each race. Okay. First okay. and second from each race moves on to the next tier, which is the next four slots in the next tier of races. But what if the same person gets first each time? Then they move on to the next race. Well, then you're not going to have enough people. <laughs> That's I don't understand what you're talking about. What? What, what do you mean you're not going to have enough people? Because you're you're gonna if the same person gets first in every race, then they're then who are they racing against in the next tier? The person who got second. That's only two people then. So if you have four people or four races on this side and four races on this side, first and second from each is going to go to the next ones. So we have four full races. You have yes. four with four people full in races. Race. And then, yes. What if we don't have that many people? That's, we will. That's 16 the, the, people. We will. We will. Why, why are you saying At the we beginning? When yes. we first start, we're going to have 16 people. Yes. Dude, each race is separate. <laughs> it is not a 16 against 16 I, race. No, I, I know that, but I, do we... Um, I feel like we need to talk about these logistics further. Once again, yeah, I, I don't behind know. The behind the behind I the mean, making of it, it, it is. It is. But I don't. I don't understand why you, you're confused. But we're doing you, now. Do Do you understand what I'm saying, Devin? I do. I do. Okay. I mean, to an extent. I'm not, At the I'm same not time, I'm also you just like Calvin. But I also yeah. am like. I'm I'm letting Mick kind of like spearhead this moment, and I'm bringing a switch, and we'll <laughs> go from there. Like, yeah, how many switches are we gonna have? We'll we have only need one. Only one. Well, we'll we're, have three. we're doing. We we won't even need that many. Okay. We're gonna do each race individually. Cool, Don't we have a time limit? We probably will, but we can put in that many races within that time limit. We can. Because okay. each race is under 10 minutes. Sure. Easily. And so you think about it, you're only having four, seven races. So an hour, you can get that within an hour easily. You know, despite all of the banter and all the time in between. And I just hit that. All right. <laughs> Do we have a so we don't have a sign up sheet or anything? It's just whoever shows up and buys a beer. Yeah, so not yet. So uh, that that's coming very soon. I'm working out logistics this week, uh, making sure everything's set in stone. It should be this will be tentative at the moment, but the um, September third will be the Mario Kart tournament hosted by BPM. Okay, so we're but we're not doing we're not doing cups. Pew, pew, pew. What, what about cups? If you're if we're having separate people in each race, we're not doing cups. No, no, we're doing uh, like a standard. Just a just a of a, a four basic player. race. Yeah, so we're gonna do like a a standard like tournament seven tier race. Normally, like two or three of those with them yep. like little trophies and stuff. But then we're gonna have the main event, which is the BPM event. And that one's going to be the buy-in with all the other cool stuff. Which we'll let them know all the details next only week. The, only the final race is a buy-in? Yes. Oh. So the other ones are you have to buy a beer from Wildman to play the game. Mm. But we only have like three sets of races for those people. Hmm. Okay, yeah. we're gonna have to, so we're gonna have to get there and sit up and then wait for people to buy a beer and walk in and and want a race. Oh no, no, we'll have it all set up. We'll we'll have we'll have stuff ready to go. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. It won't it's, just be like us just sitting there. there. But no, yeah. but I'm saying it's not going to be like there's ten people in the room waiting for us when we show up to start racing. There might be. Who knows? We don't know. They might be so pumped about it. How, how about how about oh, is it bimps? Do you uh, do you guys want to be the best bimp in the business? You guys, you guys want to go and and be the best Mario Kart 
writer in the world. I don't think most of our of our pop tops are in this area. No. I mean, most of your pop tops are probably aren't, but most of the bimps are up in this PN dubs. There's no bimps. Be- the no bimps, bimps are up in the PN dubs. The the PN dub is huge, though. Right, and and the bimps are ever stretching. I don't. We think. have people coming down from Tacoma just for this event. Like we are pumped think. and excited for it. Bimps are ready to go. I could probably get somebody from Stanwood about the pop tops. But the bimps, what, what was that? The pop tops. The, no, the, the, the bimps, the bimps will be there. The bimps, the bimps will be I, there. I, I, sorry, I didn't the, hear what the you said about the bimps. How many called? do you want to bet will be there? Was the bimps. I don't know. Because I don't think there's going to be any. Right. I think there's going to be zero. I think, I think, I think at least five bimps will be mm, there. Okay. How much money do you want to put on that? If I, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. 20 bucks? So 20 there's bucks. at least five people. Five, five bimps. There's will five be people there. there. You are never allowed to listen to ASMR or talk about ASMR again. Deal? <laughs> If there's five people there who listen to our podcast, yes, you are never allowed to talk about ASMR again, okay, or you're I mean, and you're not allowed to listen to ASMR yourself. You won't even be able to uh, to police that at all. On, so. Honor system, <laughs> come on. What honor, honor system? What honor? <laughs> no, I, I think it's a good deal. I mean, he's not willing to take it. Okay. Okay. Do I, he's what nervous. Do I get? What do I get? Everybody, look at the YouTube stream. Uh, he's okay. nervous about okay. it. Okay. So we put twenty bucks on this. I say twenty dollars says at least five people who listen to our podcast will, will be a part be of the our, tournament. Uh, will be at the event. No, no, I'm saying be a part of the tournament. I say we'll be at the event. Because mm. you're going to count me and you and Devin. No, nope. and- I'm, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to count us three. At least five people who listen to our podcast will be there. Okay, twenty bucks. And you're talking like, like not. Fa- I'm, I'm talking about like people just like listen not to family, podcasts. like just, just random people. Hey, you heard of the podcast? Yeah, this is it. Okay, I think five. You think five people? I think five okay. people. I'll take that bet. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Okay, what do you think, Devin? I'm gonna go on the five. Can I, you want to split that? that twenty bucks. <laughs> you you want to split that ten ten real quick? <laughs> Calvin puts could. in twenty. <laughs> we could. Yeah, you you had two to one odds there. Yeah, let's do that. So if I win, I get twenty. I get ten bucks from each of you. Get twenty yeah. bucks if you win. If not, okay. you put twenty bucks into us. Sure. You well, put okay. it into me. You. I'm gonna put, put it into Mars. Do you, you can put it into oh, me. Oh man. Oh jeez. <laughs> wow. I think everybody needs to go ahead and just look at. All the cool things that are coming up here in our very, very soon future, like the Mario Kart tournament, which is going to be at the Wildman Brewing Company in Olympia, the Gastro Pub, uh, uh, hopefully the 3rd of September. Let's go ahead and be there and just keep your eyes on it. Just are you trying sure. to do ASMR right now? No, I'm not. Uh, I'm just trying to like talk to you. That's what um, it sounds like you're trying to do. No, I, I'm just like throwing in some some little bits in there. Um, you're going like this, you're talking real low. I, I'm not. I'm. I'm. Sure. You just did. <laughs> I did not. You cannot prove that. What's that? Actually, it's recorded. So, it's not. It is. No, none of this is recorded. <laughs> I'm gonna post it myself. Ah, oh, son. <laughs> I have the main video. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's about good for me. In time wise, and yeah. my sonic glass is almost gone. Look at this amazing sonic glass, guys. <laughs> 1996. Yeah. P and dubs sponsor all of it. I don't know why I said that, but I meant like represent all of it because that's where we're from. Are you cool. t- ready? Are you ready to go to bed there, Devin? I'm good. Devin looks like you. Are you? Are you? No, I'm good. I'm chill. Yeah, this is only eight twenty. It is. But I think Early. we're about. Are we? I think we're about time, right? I think we're about time. Uh, we're at an hour forty three. What? Why right are we now. at an hour forty three? Really? That's what my rec- my timer says in my recording. Holy crap! All right. Well, everybody. Uh, we'll see you later.
we're going to be back next week with more things and uh, more conflicting. I wonder opinions. how much. I wonder how much is this. Uh, this is going to get cut out. So I'm, I just said an hour forty three, and they're going to look at a video. It's like an hour and ten minutes long, and they're like, "What happened? <laughs> <laughs> you should not have said that. You shouldn't have said it." <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching the next and latest episode of Beers Per Minute. Bye. Bye. Beers Per Minute has been presented by Stupid Mythic Forest. New episodes come out on Wednesday at 8 a.m. Don't forget to rate and subscribe so you never miss a thing.